Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. And this is gonna be a general reading for the collective. So this is, we're just gonna kind of take a look at what is being hidden from you, okay? So this will be a choose a pile reading and it will be time stamped in the description box below. So we will do, how many piles should we do today, guys? Let's do four. Cause I've missed you guys. Well, that's too many. Just give me one. Just give me one. Okay, hey, what is being hidden from the collective? It's exciting. Okay, let's have a look. So we're gonna start with pile one. This is an, oh, feel free to choose more than one pile if you want to. It's not gonna resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't, okay? And you can also like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell as well if it resonates with you. Okay, so pile one, what is being hidden from pile one? We've got a time to give rather than take. That is a new moon in Virgo. Okay. Maybe there's someone around you right now that is wanting your time and attention. And you're feeling a bit hesitant. Yeah, we've got choices here. Okay. <laughs> Let's get another one from here, probably. We've got beauty. Mm. Okay, part one. Um, let me go in with. There you are. That's my energy ones. I definitely feel like, as well, this is more about appreciating and acknowledging your own beauty and who you are, acknowledging yourself for your faults, you know, for all the positive things about yourself. This is, I think, a moment where you're going to be realizing your own beauty. Yes, we got third chakra. And we got a woman holding a heart, yeah. So I definitely feel like this is more about you kind of having to release what you guys have been holding on to. And there's a choice that's coming towards you very soon. So we're going to take a look at that. So what's being hidden from my pile one? Some of you guys have also internalized, you know, maybe not feeling good enough and really, maybe you're not really saying a lot of kind things about yourself, like maybe when it comes to your looks or appearance. So this, I think this time is more about you realizing, you know, your beauty within as well. Yeah, we've got five of cups here. So there's definitely a lot of sadness here. Maybe you're looking back a lot at the past of what you've lost. Maybe it's, it's pertaining to a specific person, okay? And you're kind of holding out for this person. And I think maybe you're only seeing the beauty of this person as well, you know? You're forgetting about their, their prickly side. Okay, they're like a rose. Yeah, we got five of pentacles. This is, oh, guys. You're just feeling really left out. You're feeling sad. But you know what as well? I just feel like this is you guys holding on to a lot of things from your past as well. Let's have one more from here. So we've got Ace of Wands. All right. So let's see. There's definitely a new spark coming towards you. Let's see. Pile one. What's being hidden from pile one? Three of Wands here. Got the Magician. Ten of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like what's being hidden from you is you realising, okay, that you need to take control of this situation. And I feel like very soon a situation is presenting itself to you where you're going to need to make a choice. And I really feel part one, they're saying that you need to choose you. You are the magician here in this. You are the master, the creator of your own destiny. Okay, there's just something here about you needing to have a bit more balance in your life. Okay, and I definitely feel that's more about you balancing your emotions. And sort of not letting them overtake you or get the best of you. Gosh, five of pentacles twice. 
Yeah, so I definitely feel like part one, you are going to get communication from this person that I think, you know, you are sad about. And it's going to be what you've always got, okay? Um, so I really feel like they're saying that, you know, you need to make sure that you're feeling grounded, that you're feeling stable, that you've got yourself together, okay? Especially when it comes to how you feel about this person. More so, I think, about how you feel about yourself. They don't want you to wear your heart on your sleeve with this person when they approach you, okay? This is going to be a choice that you need to make, pal one, because maybe what it is is you don't really feel that this person is going to come back towards you, but they are. But it's not for, you know, the serious commitment. It's not for what you deserve. They're just re-triggering all your insecurities again. So I feel like when they message you, it's almost like it's a glimmer of hope, but... Yeah, see, you've got recovery mode right now. This is just about taking care of yourself. All right, really give to yourself. What do you need to really feel better? Because this person just seems to make you sad and depressed. So what can you do to make yourself feel better each day? Um, let me give you part one. We've got codependency. You've got codependency issues here. So these are probably some of the things that are probably going to be coming up to the surface, even with you. Maybe you're also choosing people who have codependency issues, but I mean, they can be a different range of, of issues. Do you know what I mean? But yours is probably trying to stay in a situation where, you know, it's almost degrading to you and how you feel. You know... It just doesn't make you feel good about yourself, this relationship. And I think it, it it's kind of reflecting your past wounds and your past relationships. So they're saying addictions are affecting your romantic life. So yeah, I definitely feel like there's a way here where you guys got to delve a little bit deeper. Um, let's see quickly, part one. So what's being hidden from part one? house here We've got sudden wealth imprisonment high honor family room false person and concern yeah but we also have coffin at the bottom of the deck so again what's coming out of it is this person is trying to come back home they're trying to come back towards you they're going to say that they want to build this healthy st uh, foundation Okay, for you, you think you've hit the jackpot, but really they're just trying to enslave you back into the same cycle again, where your spirit guides are saying you probably will end up ending this again with them. All right, guys, you have the choice. Okay, part one. Let's see. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that reading, part one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're going to move on to part two. So part two, what's been uh, hidden from you? We've got emotions are running high. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, pile two. Let's see. What is being hidden from pile two? Summon. We've got movement. High Priestess of the Water. Some energy deck. Yes, pal two. I really feel like you guys are summoning the strength to kind of move on. Something about your third eye is on fire. <laughs> yeah, we've got Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. We got strategy and we got caring connections and we got journey. So yeah, I definitely feel like what's being hidden from you is that, you know, those situations where you don't, people are like, oh, you should leave, you should leave. And you say, yeah, I will. Da, da, da. And then one day you always hear these stories that one day people just wake up and say, I'm done, I'm out. 
okay that's how i feel pile two okay you're just gonna wake up one day and say right that's it i even think some of you have already been trying to heal in secret anyway okay so maybe you guys have been going to therapy or something like that or you guys have been doing a lot of journaling or you've just been kind of trying to plan your way out of this situation okay I just think you guys are just a little bit worried because you don't know what direction to go in. Like, is that going to be any better than where I am now? So there's a bit of that. But yeah, see, we got the eight of cups. So this is you really wanting to walk away. I feel like you've given it a good try. All right. And I think you've just had to evaluate why you've had to walk away and leave this behind. So we do have this movement. Princess of Cups, Five of Wands, one more from here, and we got Nine of Pentacles, yeah. I think as well, you guys are probably just worried about financially being okay by yourself, or making it by yourself, or just being single, you know, sometimes it's like, do I want to walk away from this connection and then I'm out there single again or I'm older or I've got this or, you know, maybe you feel like you've accumulated more baggage. And I think also the person is just not, I mean, they're not even really like begging and pleading and stuff. It's, I don't know if it's a bit of a power struggle here. But I feel like sometimes they give you just enough to keep you there, you know? Just a small amount of effort and words, but then they go back to being their usual selves. Yeah, Six of Swords, you are moving on with your lessons, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, yeah. So you know what? I definitely feel like with the emotions are running high, I think what's being hidden from you is that there is going to be this confrontation you are going to wake up and walk away very soon okay most of you are yeah we got the sun i just definitely think you're seeing the light in being single um, and being free again and being happy and you know not going to bed every night in anxiety or terror or fear and saying hey this is actually what i deserve this is what i believe in these are my morals okay and you do not align with my core beliefs anymore all right. All right. So what's being hidden from pile two? Oh, yeah. You are definitely getting your power back. Okay. Coming into your queen of wands energy. And I think as well, if you guys are kind of waiting for something to come through, maybe it's a new job. It's something sort of financial to kind of give you. Yeah, look, we got tower. We got Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, as well, I feel like just as you guys are kind of about to say, right, I'm done, you've got what you need, this person definitely wants to show up and act like they're gonna give you even more. So that's what's being hidden from you. Yeah, we got justice. All right, you really need to think about what is ju just and fair for you, okay? Is there equality here? No, this is three of swords. This is heartbreak that lives here, okay? So I think for you guys, you kind of know, love don't live here anymore, all right? And this person is really gonna try and get you into some type of arguments and disagreements about it all. They're saying, look, don't worry, pack light, okay? The universe is guiding you to the direction that you should be going in. You know it, you feel it. We've got Libra, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. Pisces. All right, what else do we have for pile two? It's being hidden. We are, we've got let go. So they are saying this is time for you to let go. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. It's possible for a peaceful resolution.
We have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. We have when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. All right, and you don't just want to be constantly reliving nightmares, okay? <laughs> Maybe it's not even that deep, but a lot of regrets. I feel like with you, Pal 2, the universe is kind of offering you a way out soon, and they're really hoping that you take it, because you deserve it. All right, Pal 2, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Now we are going to move on to Pal 3. We've got don't let your pride get in the way. That is a full moon in Leo. All right, so what is being hidden? From pile three. So this isn't gonna resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Oh, we got self-love, self-worth, pile three. High priestess of the earth and differences. Oof. I don't know, maybe there's just not much compromise here as well. Like, I don't know, you guys are very strong. I feel like you're really articulate. You're very grounded in your morals, your beliefs. And it just looks like you probably ended up with someone who's just the complete opposite to you in a certain way. And I think you guys have just been gathering back your strength, so it's not that easy for you to let your walls down so quickly. Yeah, because we've got hostilities. Mm. I definitely feel like part three, you're really pushing somebody away. You've got the thinking man here. I just think this, you're probably in a relationship where your priorities are different. <laughs> you know, someone's thinking more about money and wealth and stuff, and you're more just sort of like trying to protect your heart. You know, I think you're, like I said, I feel like part two, you're, sorry, part three, I feel like you're healing from something recent. Yeah, and you've got your, your fourth chakra here, your heart chakra. But we have Dora the Spirit and yeah, yeah. I also feel like part three, you guys are very spiritual. You're very highly, highly intuitive, okay? You've got sixth chakra here um, and you've got Dora to Spirit. So you kind of feel like you're being pulled in another type of direction and maybe you guys are struggling with it because of the person that you're going out with or or maybe you're trying to look at your types <laughs> that you like. All right, what's being hidden from pile three? We've got rebirth. <laughs> wow, okay. Knight of Pentacles. Wow, we got the star. And we've got eight of pentacles. Ooh, okay. So, pile three. So this is what we were saying about you before, right? That you're going through this self-love, this self-worth journey. You're healing from something, right? That's recently probably happened. So you are a little bit more on the defensive. You are a little bit more hostile, okay? But you are going through this transition, this rebirth. All right, and now I feel like you're really just trying to put, you know, whatever it is you have into your business, into your job. Okay, so there's something new that you guys are trying as well, I think in terms of business very soon. But you guys do have this star-like angelic quality. People are definitely drawn to you. They're drawn to your work. Okay, you guys are definitely hard workers. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of uh, Pentacles. You guys really have put the work in. So what is being hidden from you? We've got a King of Cups here, and we've got a Three of Swords. So yeah, this is the heartbreak. Okay, and I just feel like this is going to be resurfacing for you because maybe what it is is there's there's unfinished business here. Okay, and I definitely feel like you felt that you was dealing with a soulmate. Yeah, and we got five of wands. I definitely feel like what's being hidden is there is going to be some conflict. Some of you are avoiding having this conversation or avoiding wanting to deal with this. But like they say, don't let pride get in the way. Say your peace. All right, because this is to release you. Oh, we got a tower here. <laughs> what's being hidden from pile three? Three of pentacles. Four of swords. Oh. 
So yeah, I definitely feel like the person you're avoiding is the one that is about to contact you, okay? Spirit is calling you too because they feel, feel like there is like a soulmate connection around you, but you're not in that headspace or you're not paying attention to it right now, okay? So the person that I think has done you dirty is about to contact you very soon. All right, and I, I think this person is definitely trying to manipulate the truth in some type of way, but it doesn't matter. Say what you need to say, okay? We've got Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, and some Earth energy there as well. Stay here. All right, what's being hidden from pile three? We have in the near future. Okay. We've got unlikely and we've got arcs from help from others. Okay, so I think if you're hoping to get what you want out of this person, you won't. Okay, it's unlikely that they would have changed, but it's not really about that. It's about you saying your piece to release this. All right, and they're saying in the near future, you will get the opportunity to do that. And don't feel like you have to do with everything by yourself. All right, part three. Yeah, you are very mature. Okay, you're getting your priorities. Your home is in order. And now you have great fortune coming towards you, okay? Yes, through your occupation. Look at that. And someone here is just really heavily watching you work, okay? So I don't know if they can go to where you work or they're watching you online or something. Yeah, like if you have an online business but i feel like that's the only way they can look at you mm -hmm. i'm gonna pull one of these Power three it's being hidden from my power three a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you, time to make a decision, be clear on what you want, take action and need for detoxification. And we've got love and blessings for your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. Yeah, so you'll be spending some time with family and I think that's how you guys are gonna kind of renew your heart here as well and just sort of help it heal. Okay, stay very receptive to your intuition as well. Because I definitely feel like you're going to have some new ideas coming forth for your business or things that you want to do, things that you're really creative at. You're going to be able to have like new outlets for that as well. Okay, so part three, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And now we're going to move on to part four. What's being hidden from part four? Step out of your comfort zone. Ooh, part four. Let's see. Yes, because you're very rigid. <laughs> All right, you're only seeing things your way. Yeah, because you're trapped. Oof, pile four. You're struggling here, I think. And you have choices. Ooh, pile four. So right now, maybe you feel protected in your bubble, okay, that you've kind of created for yourself with your sort of rigid thinking, rigid way of living, if that resonates with you. Not really wanting to do anything different, even though deep down you yearn for more, like you want more. But now the universe is bringing it to you where they're going to be like, okay, well, you need to make a decision now. Powerful. Adjacent possibilities, yes. I think what they're trying to say, Paul, for is that there are other ways to get to your destination, okay? And these doors are going to be opening for you very soon. And they don't want you to just shut them down, okay? Because they, doesn't, they don't align with your plan or your way of wanting to do something. It's almost a little bit of like outdated thinking as well. Yeah, I definitely feel like a situation is coming up where... It's, uh, it's going to be an ending, but there's also a new beginning. It just depends on how you choose to see it. 
I think through this ending, you could let a lot of your dark side out, your fears, your insecurities, okay? Some little toxic traits I'm just hearing, okay? We all got them, all right? But then you're, you're also, they want you to see the light in this situation as well. Like leaving this behind, the best is gonna come out of you now. Maybe this situation was bringing out the worst in you. Okay, maybe you don't even know what you think, feel or believe anymore, you know? But now it's gonna be like, okay, this is time to really challenge yourself and take a different perspective. Look, we have patience, this is divine timing. This is having patience with yourself. This is having the time to kind of stop and get some mental clarity on this, okay? Powerful. We have daughter value here, all right? So for some of you, this really is about you being scared to leave your job. Maybe, you know, you've always been a teacher and it's like you wanna do something completely different. Uh, maybe you're feeling the fear of being judged. Maybe it's financial. Whatever it is, it's almost like you're imposing all these limitations on yourself. All right, when they're saying to you, this is about balance. Okay, can you start something else up right now while you've got this going on? Can you look elsewhere? Can you at least entertain another way of doing something right now? Mm. Just to see like, you know, where it's going to take you. All right, pile four. What's been hidden from pile four? Three of Wands, King of Swords. We got the Lovers here. Yeah, so I, I want to say this as well, High Priestess. I think maybe what some of you are doing are keeping a lot of things to yourself, a lot of secrets. All right, because we need to just stay on one topic at a time. All right, let's focus. Because I feel like you, Power 4, you've got something else here that is also coming towards you. All right, that's being hidden from you. If some of you are already in a committed relationship, okay, or you're seeing someone who has children, all right, or maybe you're the person that has children with them, I feel like your partner is definitely keeping a secret from you. So this is what I mean. Not only are you going to be having to make a choice in your career, you're also going to be needing to do that in your relationship. And they're asking you to choose you. Maybe some of your beliefs are that, you know, we've got kids, I have to stay, you know, and, and it's these ideas and beliefs that are keeping you trapped, keeping you miserable. Um, and so that's also playing out in your career as well. So you've got to look at what you're also teaching your children to, you know, about how to stand on your own, be independent, which I feel like you are very much independent. I think this is more about learning when to get up from the table when love isn't being served anymore, you know, because you want your children to be happy, essentially. So I definitely feel there's just some outdated thinking here, but that's okay. We're a product of, you know, where we come from, right? Who raised us or who didn't so yes I definitely feel like here there's gonna be a pause in your situation in your relationship all right and I feel like you there is sacrifices here that are gonna need to you're gonna need to make all right what else is being hidden from pile four yeah well we've got a new beginning and we've got the moon here so yeah, and Nine of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like something is coming out of the blue. There's secrets, there's, you know, whatever's being hidden from you, which is what this is about, is going to be coming to the forefront and you will need to make a choice. All right. I even feel like some of you, the person that you've been with has kind of sheltered you and kept you trapped so they could kind of keep you with the same opinions, beliefs, you know, in hopes that you'll never kind of leave them. We've got Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, yeah. All right, what's being hidden from pile four? We've got despair, but you are a mature woman here. We've got a wealthy man. We've got a new beginning. 
and we got a message of concern so yeah i definitely feel like you guys will be reading something very soon and we got coughing so yeah, yeah. <laughs> again got concern and we got journey so this is like a new process that you're going to be going through okay and you might need to take a trip to get away to clear your head with this too all right and there is going to be a change and more likely a move and I think that might be your person leaving. Oh, powerful. That's why they're asking you now, it's time to step out of your comfort zone, okay? It's time to start speaking up for yourself. It's time to try and do that in your career as well. Because I feel like what it is powerful is they're trying to prepare you for when the change does happen, you know? We got no, but we do have romance. Again, you know, you just have to be careful that your partner is not gonna try and love bomb you to keep you. All right, your spirit guides are saying, nope, don't accept this. We've got my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. And then we've got Cupid. <laughs> we've got Cupid's arrow. Romance strikes. So yeah, I definitely feel like your person is going to turn up the, uh, the romance, but we got stabbed in the back. This is what I mean about them, okay? Really step out of your comfort zone in other areas of your life and you're gonna find that you're gonna have way more confidence in your current relationship, all right? And I think some of you are sacrificing sort of passion for what love really is, okay? Or good activity in the bedroom, shall we say, yeah. But some of you could be dealing also with your own codependent issues because you, you don't feel enough, all right? So you accept a lot of love bombing. So please be careful, bottle four. But they are coming towards you. All right. I think that is it. Yeah. Okay, Puffle. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reading, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you all so much. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.